today I want to show three different ways to modify or even just completely remove the background of your video. Here I am just sitting in a basic room. I can blur the background. I can even entirely remove the background. So right now I'm sitting in a black void. I can swap in an image and I could even add in a video background. And look at this quality. This is all without using a green screen and I'm just using free apps and plugins. The first technique that we're going to look at has some pretty high system requirements, but it also looks the best. The second and third techniques will work on just about any PC, but I don't think the output is quite as good. All right, let's check this out. To pull this off, we're going to use a free tool called OBS Studio. OBS is an extremely powerful video recorder, screen recorder, and you could even stream with it. To get it, head to the website right up above. I've also included a link down below in the description. Once you land on the home page, choose your operating system and then click to download and install. In this video, we're purely looking at how you can modify the background of a video. If you want a full overview of how you can use OBS Studio, check out the link right up above, also down below in the description. Now that we have OBS, we're going to install another tool called NVIDIA Broadcast. And this is the first technique. It provides the best results, but once again, it has the highest system requirements. For this, you need an NVIDIA RTX graphics card. To check what type of graphics card you have, go down to search on your taskbar and type in system information. Click on the best match. Within system information, over on the left-hand side, click on display. Right at the top, you'll see what type of graphics card you have. If you see RTX included in the name, you're in luck. If you don't, don't worry. We're going to look at two other techniques that will also work pretty well. To install, head to the following website. I've also included a link in the description down below. On this website, simply click on the download now button. Once you finish installing Nvidia broadcast, open up the app. On the very top, click on the tab called camera. Here, choose the camera that you want to use. Down below, you can also choose the effect that you want to apply. And there are many different options here. You can blur your background, you can replace the background, or you could just remove the background altogether. I'll choose that option. Down below, you can also choose whether you want performance. So if you want things looking a little bit smoother, or you could go with quality and it might not be quite as smooth. Next, let's leave this app open and let's shift over to OBS. Within OBS, click on sources and let's add a video capture device or what's also known as your camera. Under device, select the one for NVIDIA broadcast, then click on OK. You should now see your video with the background removed directly within OBS. Next, we want to add some type of media behind us. When I click on source again, you can add your screen. You could add a game that you're playing. You can add an app that you're running like PowerPoint. You can add an image or even a media source, which is basically a video. I'll click on media source. Next, I'll browse to my video file location. Here, I'll click on loop and then click on OK. Now, I want my video to be on top of this background. So I'll drag the background to the bottom of sources. Now, you can see me on top of the video. Over on the right hand side, I can now stream. Let's say I want to stream to Facebook or YouTube. I could start recording and I can get an MP4 of this video, or I could even start a virtual camera. With a virtual camera, I can send this output to Zoom, Microsoft Teams, WebEx, or any other app. If the first technique works for you, you're pretty much all set. But if let's say you don't have an RTX graphics card, we can install a plugin directly within OBS that also provides this same exact functionality. 
for the plugin, head to the following website, or you could access it in the description down below. Once you land on the website, click on go to downloads. On the next page, scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll see a section called assets. I'm going to click on the first option for a Windows PC, but if you have a Mac, you can click on the second option. Let's download that file. Once you finish downloading, go to your downloads folder and unzip the file. Click into the unzipped folder and then copy the two folders within it. We're going to bring these into OBS. If you installed OBS in the standard location, click into your C drive and then select program files and then select OBS studio. You can now paste those folders here and it'll copy over all of the required files. Within OBS, under Sources, let's click on the plus icon and add a new video capture device. This is the camera that you want to use. Next, click on OK. You should now see your camera on the main screen. Let's once again go down to Source and this time click on the source that we just added. Next, click on the Filters button. Let's add a new audio video filter. Select the top option for background removal. Within background removal, at the very top, you have various settings that you can tweak to affect the background removal. Right down below, I can select the background color. I want to set up a virtual green screen, so I'll select green. Next, you can also select whether you want your CPU to power this or whether you want to rely on your GPU. You could try both of them to see which one works better. You can also select a segmentation model, and there are various models that you can choose from. And once again, you can experiment to see which model works the best for you. Lastly, you can set calculate mask every X frame. If your computer is struggling, you can try setting this to a higher number so it doesn't refresh the mask quite as often. Next, click on OK. You should now see your video with a green background, and of course that's not quite what we want. We now need to add one more filter. Once again, select the camera source. Then click on Filters. Let's go down to Effect Filters and add a chroma key effect. All of the defaults look fine. Let's click on OK. It's now effectively removed the background. Just like we did before, we can now add an image, a video, a web browser, or anything else behind our video. I'll click on the plus icon under source and I'll add a media source. I'll set my media source to loop and then I'll drag it to the bottom of my source list so it sits underneath my video. And all in all, I think this looks pretty good. We've looked at two of the different techniques so far, and there is one more. We can use a free tool called Snap Camera. And not only can you use it to create a virtual green screen, let's say if you just want to remove the background, but you can also use it to apply all sorts of fun effects. To get this tool, head to the website right up above, once again, also down below in the description. On the website, click on the button that says Download Now. Once you finish downloading and installing, open up Snap Camera and you should see an interface that looks like this. At the top of the app, you'll see all sorts of different fun lenses that you can apply. For a virtual green screen, within the search field, let's type in chroma key and then click on search. Here, I'll select one of these green screen options, and there I can see my video with the green screen behind it. Back within OBS, under Sources, click on the plus icon and let's add a new video capture device. For the device, select Snap Camera and then click on OK. You should now see your video within OBS with the green background. And of course, we don't want the green background. So once again, we need to apply a chroma key. 
under effect filters. Let's click on the plus icon and then select chroma key. I'm going to leave all of the defaults and then click on OK. And there you see the background has been effectively removed. We can now add any type of media behind us. On sources, I'll click on the plus icon and once again, I could add a game. I could add an app, an image, a video, any one of those. You might be thinking, well, this is great if I need to record a new video, but what if I've already recorded a video? You can use these exact same techniques for an existing video. Within OBS, under Sources, click on the plus icon and you can add a media source or your existing video. Once you pull in your video, you can apply the background removal filter to your video. You can then click on the record icon and this will record your existing video with the background removed or modified. All right, well, those are all of the different ways that you can modify or remove a background in OBS Studio. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.